Yo, what is up, America? It is Keith the Trucker. Guys, good morning. I am unloading right now, so if the trailer starts a rocking, or if the screen starts a rocking, I should say it's because they're unloading back there. A little bit of uh, frozen pizzas, man. Um, anyways, guys, let's dive into a couple things. We are definitely in a little bit of what I would call a free pick slump. And it sucks because, you know, I try to give you guys my favorite play, but sometimes it just doesn't work out so because we lost both plays uh, what a call on the Mariners yesterday they lost eight nothing hadn't lost to Brian Wu start all year they lost eight nothing um that takes our straight bets just on these free picks to negative 0.6 units so we're slightly negative there DFS is still slightly positive at 0.86 now I'm in Texas right now I'm in good old Lubbock Texas um, so I'm not going to give you guys a straight bet today. I can give you like a lean or something, but um, I only like to really give you guys what I can actually bet on. It's just not as fun for me if I do that. So I'm going to give you guys a bonus DFS play today. Hopefully we can cash them both guys. Um, let's get into a couple things. Uh, you know, I have been hitting slips. I've been having a lot of slips just like this too, where we're literally hitting like three out of four and missing by an out, man. Those those KC pitchers have been flopping against the fucking A's so far, man. You get those guys away from Coffin, they're just not as reliable. I don't know. I forget who's pitching today. I think it's Lugo. I do I do like him. He'll probably go 18.5. He'll probably go seven innings, but it's just frustrating when you're an out short. And I could have lowered this. I thought about doing it. Probably would have put the multiplier around five. You know, four players for five X, so it's kind of like, eh. It's a lot to ask for, you know, hitting a four-leg parlay for just it's just not as much upside and then more can go wrong down here even if you lower this so i feel like this was the correct thing to do it just we fell a little short on that one uh, but we have been hitting plays it's just i can't fucking pull it on the screen for you guys here's a couple slips that hit mitch keller suarez fadat hunter brown hunter brown cashed in something else too um might have been a strikeout one i had let me see here we hit this one. I want to talk to you guys about this one real quick because if you're an underdog, this is this is legit right here. Okay, yeah, I don't know. It, it sometimes they change it. It's fucking weird. It used to always be anytime they give you a free square like this, it used to be a ten dollar max, right? See how it says thirty down here. Then they upped it to fifteen for a while, and now they're like. Then they went back to ten, and then lately it's been like thirty. They're literally letting me get thirty down on these free picks. So I always start, I type in 100, and it will automatically correct uh, correct whatever you put that's too high. It'll correct it to the, the, the top number, so it takes it to 30. And I just want to point this out. This is actually pretty fucking legit. This is 30 bucks to pay 81. It obviously is going to hit, unless she has a historically bad game. I'm sure she'll get at least a layup or something. Um, and that's 30 to win $81. So that's a net profit of 51. So basically, to me, this is like making a straight bet and you're getting an awesome, you're getting almost three extra money back in return. So it's pretty good. I don't know how long they'll keep this up. It could just be like a fluke or something and maybe they're not meaning to let me get this much money down. But I used to always, when they give us a free square, I would just try to go $10 to win 60. I'd get two props I liked and stick it with the free square. But now that they're giving us 30 to win 81, or, you know, if you get a straight line, this was a little uh, juiced on the lower. Um, if you get a straight line, it'd be 30 to win 90 bucks. So pretty legit. Just wanted to point that out for you guys. Let's get into, uh, I got two free plays for you guys today. One's on sleeper. We're going to start with that one. And if you're not on sleeper yet, it's a good time to sign up. Um, you get uh, a lot of perks, actually. You get a $100 deposit match. You can see right here, just use code SBAA. And then for me, you're also gonna get this for free. So you'll get all my plays for a month. And you're also gonna get into the VIP chat on uh, Chalkboard, which I guarantee you by the time football season comes around, that's gonna be a pretty cool place to hang out. It's a little slow right now. It's the off season. Guys just aren't jacked up yet, but they will be, I promise. And the reason I locked this in on sleeper is because Cole Irvin's line on chalkboard is actually 6.5. And I just went and checked before I started filming this. It's still at 5.5 on sleeper. I think the modifier may be a little lower. Not sure. But anyway, 
we're just taking them uh, for a prop that I haven't really dabbled with too much yet, and it's hits allowed. And you say, wow, those are some big numbers, and I kind of agree, but let's kind of dive into, um, that was the wrong picture I pulled up. Let's dive into why I think these are good bets. So this guy right here, we need him to allow six hits. He's getting the Yankees. Um, I think their bats are going to show up today. And he's done this in four out of the last five, as you can see. And the nice thing is he's still pitching pretty deep. I mean, other than this game, he's that's what I like to see. That, that to me, that tells me he's the chances of him giving up hits if he gets a little deeper in. It's like a, a little over a hit an inning almost, you know? And then the other nice thing I like, too, is he doesn't seem to walk a lot of guys. Other than this game, this guy that's not walking dudes, he's just giving up hits. So like I said, four to the last five, uh, Cole Irvin has given up more. And I like the Yankees' bats today to show up. And then Ty Block, I mean, he has pitched a little bit better um, in Coorsfield, surprisingly. But same thing. Like, you know, we need, what was it? Uh... We needed, uh, I think it was six and a half, so we need seven. Yeah, so seven hits. And if you look right here, he's done that in his last three games. And then this one was close. Cleveland, Philadelphia, and the nice thing here too, it's the same thing, giving up a lot. Uh, or He's pitching deep into games, at least five innings, which is nice to see. Same thing, it's not walking a lot of guys. Now, I considered taking the earn run line, but I thought it was a little risky because like I said, he has been playing better at home um and it was set at like three and a half so you know it's it's a lot to ask for always to give up four runs but the hits he's done that pretty steady in three straight he's just not missing a lot of bats a lot of a lot of hard contact so we're gonna take that take a screenshot that is play number one hopefully we can cash it and then i have another one for you on chalkboard and what i mentioned about sleeper where is the there it is i labeled it wrong i usually don't type it like that um when i mentioned about uh sleeper you get exactly the same thing and i'm telling you guys this is actually my favorite app right now is chalkboard i i just i'm in love with them i think they're the like best in the game right now they have more available props like you can find anything over here and hopefully eventually they'll start expanding their sports they'll definitely have like college football and stuff which is all we're going to be doing in a few months anyways that in nfl so that's good enough and there's probably they're probably going to add things eventually as time goes on like you know probably some esports some you know canadian football league which i'll probably have some bets for this week but anyways same exact perks you get the uh you get the vip pass you get the vip chat which is actually built into chalkboard that's the one we use uh, i actually prefer it over the sleeper one the sleeper one's all right but i i think there might be like a cap on it and stuff the chalkboard one i think is going to be a really cool place like i said to hang out so let's pull up some things here. So we need Chris Flexen to have less than 15 and a half outs, right? That's five innings or less. That'd be just fine. Now, if you look in his last five games, he hasn't got anywhere near. Well, he has gotten near, but he caps out right here. And Houston's a tough matchup, man. They're, they've been really good against righties the last month, top 10 in the league, and like every bait, like batting average OPS, so to the, the combined batting average slugging, I think is what it is. And they, they're just a patient team. They draw a lot of walks. They uh, they don't strike out much. Um, his strikeout line's low anyway, so it's kind of a risky one. He could get lucky and, like, you know, get a foul tip into the glove or something. Let's try to stay away from that one. But if you look at the last five, it's, like, right there. You know, 15, 15, 15, 14, 10. If you go back even farther, he, he just he's not getting past five innings. It's, like, his cap. So I feel pretty good about that. And then the other guy is in the same game, actually. This one starts early, so you should lock this play in sooner. And it's Spencer Aragetti. He is playing in that same game against the White Sox. And we're taking him to have over two walks, over 1.5. And this is the walk column right here. And if you look at this, he's literally done it in every fucking game that I could fit in the screenshot. Two, three, 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 two, two, three, three, two, two, two. two. Now, granted, it is the White Sox. They're not the greatest lineup in the world, but neither are the A's, neither are the Mariners, neither are the Cardinals, neither are the A's. Uh, the Cubs have kind of been sucking this year, which doesn't make much sense to me. He's literally done this in every game. So naturally, he'll probably just, you know, have zero or one today, guys. That's just how it works sometimes. I'm kidding, of course. Um, that's just kind of how it's felt on these free picks lately. So guys, that's all I actually got for you. 
take some screenshots. So let's bounce back. I expect to film tonight or tomorrow morning and have that DFS column, uh, you know, way up from 0.86 units because I feel like we're going to cash both of these plays. Keep the truckers out, guys. Have a great day, and I'll have a video for you guys tonight.